Hi, my name is Midwest Avenger, otherwise known as David Christopher. Um, I am a cosplayer on various social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. Pretty much you name it, I'm on it. But uh, yeah, like I said, cosplayer, actor, overall entertainer, and impressionist. Um, really what got me started is, uh, it's kind of funny, I have uh, always been a cosplayer or costume person at heart. Um, trust me, there is plenty of uh, embarrassing uh, childhood photos hidden very securely away in some photo albums of me dressed up like Sheriff Woody, uh, some embarrassing sweatshirts that were subject to some horrendous arts and crafts projects, and a silver sharpie to make a Spider-Man costume. Uh, trust me, I ruined many sewing machines that I'm pretty sure my mother still hasn't forgiven me for. Um, but, uh, honestly, when I first got into making costumes seriously, um, it was about in middle school, um, I started, uh, I started experimenting in an art form known as Pepakura, um, and foam, EVA foam building, um, and started building Iron Man suits. Um, uh, so, I definitely did not start light, I, uh, I, I went hard to begin with, um, and really just kind of tweaking and working through those over and over again was really what got me into cosplay. And then, well, and I didn't even know cosplay was a thing. I didn't even know that world existed. And I don't think even the world knew that existed at that time. There wasn't really a name for it. Um, and then as the years went on, uh, you know, everybody caught up and went, hey, we're all doing the same. What do we call it? It's costumes, play, it's cosplay. We'll call it cosplay. And I still was late to that train because I didn't go to my first convention until after I graduated high school. Um, mainly because I was busy being involved in my church and stuff like that um, growing up in my youth group and kind of made it hard for me to go to conventions. But uh, yeah, so I mean, yeah, honestly, uh, costume building was really what got me into it to begin with. And just, I don't know, it was always something in my blood, I guess. I, so it's how I've always known it was meant to be. Um, my favorite cosplay, um, and, uh, called a coincidence, um, is actually one of these two bad boys right here. Um, so if you guys don't know who these characters are, which if you don't know who these characters are, how, how, where have you been? Because wherever you are, I would like to go there now. Um, <laughs> um, so it's either got to be Captain America or Green Arrow, to be honest with you. I'm kind of on both sides of the fence. I'm, well, is it possible to have a three-way tie? Because I kind of have a three-way tie. It's either going to be Captain America, Green Arrow, or The Doctor. Um, those are my three favorite cosplays, honestly, just because they each are, s excuse me, so much of a part of who I am. They kind of both resonate with a part of my personality the most. Um, you know, I didn't have an awesome life growing up. I'm not going to get into my sob story or my life story here because this isn't a therapy session, but that's where Oliver Queen really, um, really resonates for me as somebody who faced nothing but adversity, trauma, loss, regrets, but still grew stronger through it and rose above it rather than let it, uh, rise above him. Um, and Captain America really resonates for me because, uh, to be honest, I was never the biggest kid in class. You know, I was never the first kid picked for dodgeball. I was never, the most good looking kid in the class. I I never had a date to a dance ever. Um, Cause to go with me at the time was considered embarrassing, um, which what's good now, <laughs> not to be that guy. But yeah, so that's where Captain America always resonated with me cause he was the underdog. He was the guy who, even though he went through all this bullying and you know, was always picked last and you know, wanted to go collect scraps in the yard and his little red wagon, you know, even by his best friend. He still knew what he was capable of. He still knew what was right and knew what he was called to do. And so he went after that. And for me, I've always resonated with that. And the doctor's just kind of all of that wrapped into one, I guess. Um, with the regrets, the underdog story, all that. And just uh, honestly, for me, um, I'm mild form Asperger's. Um, and so the doctor and, well, just his personality and how he operates always resonated with that part of myself. Um, who, you know, even anybody else would look at him and say, oh, you're crazy. You're insane. But he would sit there and go, no, I just think differently than you. And actually it's kind of what makes me better fitted for this situation. Not to say that anybody's better than anybody because they're not. But for me, that's what always resonated with him. Cause it was, I, I thought like he did, 
my brain operated like he did. And I always thought that was weird. I was always told that was weird. I, I mean, I always had an internal monologue saying, this is weird, you're stupid. This is, why, why are you such a freak? You know, you think so differently you're, you know, and all that. Why can't you just be normal? But for, you know, to see a character really say, you know, what's the point of being an adult if you can't act like a child sometimes? Or for some, or, you know, for Matt Smith to go, Amy Pond, realize something right now before we even get started because one day your life may depend on it. I am absolutely a madman with a pox. You know, or a Capaldi, you know, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot with a screwdriver passing through, helping out. Um, you know, and even Tennant and just his zany moments of, you know, wow. Yeah. No. You know what happens when you put two sonic screwdrivers together? Neither do I. Let's find out. I was just like, dude, that is so me. That is literally my spirit animal. Um, so yeah, obviously that's why I chose to classify those characters because I just resonated and I related with them so much. Um, sorry, that was a really long drawn out answer, but I, hopefully that answered your question. Um, yeah. Honestly, for me, and you know, it, it's something that I've had to grapple with, um, with the multiple scares of, you know, like TikTok being banned and stuff like that, um, is the people, the friends who I consider now family, um, you know, cause it, as a wise man once said, family don't end in blood. Family cares about you. They don't care about what you can do for them. They're there for you through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, Dean Winchester, if you guys didn't get it. But no, it's honestly the family that I've come to have. You know, a lot of you know them as the Spider Fam. You know, Taya Miller, Jordan Johnson, UC Nick, It's Tyreek, Tommy Knight, Maury Day, um, Anubis, that, not Luke Bry not that Luke Bryan. You know, all, all these people, Jennings Brower, um, uh, John, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All these, you know, TikTokers that have really become family to me. And uh, for me, I consider lifelong friends and the experiences and memories that we have made and are continuing to make as we continue to grow and innovate and just experience this wild ride together. That's really been the best thing that has come out of this. And I would never trade the memories and experiences and people that I have come to know through all this for anything in the world, because it is, it has truly made me rich in the soul. Dream outcome. What's my dream outcome? Uh, honestly, so for me, I've always been an aspiring actor. So for this to possibly be a stepping stone and to network my way into being able to do professional acting would be super amazing. That'd be, you know, best case scenario, uh, in my mind. Um, I mean, honestly, I'd love to get verified someday, either on Instagram or TikTok. That'd be super dope. That'd be a dream outcome. I mean, the way they verify people, it seems like a dream, uh, <laughs> even for some of our more affluent members of our, um, uh, family. Um, I mean, honestly, one thing I think it, I think it'd be really cool to have a uh, cosplay hype house. I mean, don't you? I I think that'd be super dope. Um, I think that'd be a super dream outcome, but obviously that wouldn't happen without, you know, people being willing to support that or even want that, you know? So it's, it's, it's something the idea has come up um, for all of us spitballing it. Um, but it's, it's figuring out a lot of the log logistics of, you know, if people would want to support that, if people would even want that. But I, I, I think, yeah, if I had to pick one of that uh, dream outcome, it'd probably be getting into acting through this and uh, a cosplay hype house, being able to live with, you know, my best friends in the world and being able to do what we love all the time. And, you know, being able to entertain and bring smiles to everybody's faces like we love doing. I would guess we couldn't call it a plan, but you know, we've, we've talked about a hype house. Um, but you know, that's not a plan. That's, it's a pipe dream at this point. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people have suggested it. Um, but, uh, exciting future plans. I know we're trying to plan another meetup. Um, uh, people do seem to enjoy it when we all get together. We enjoy it. Trust me. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, a, a meetups are definitely one of the future plans right now. Um, myself, um, a future plan I have right now is I just uh, found a reverse flash suit. Um, I've done Harrison Wells impressions and um, acting pieces on TikTok um, here and there. So I thought it was time I kind of, you know, officialized it and got a proper suit. Finally found one of that. So I've got to Got to start fundraising to do that, saving money up to get that because, as we all know, cosplay isn't cheap. Um, so that's a fun plan at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's kind of that's kind of the ones right now. You know, uh, plan on doing a reverse flash soon, um, and then doing another meetup, um, and you know, somewhere far off, far off down the line, cosplay hype house. Um, at least in my world, you know, I'll be there. I don't know if the rest want to come, but I'll drive and kick. I'll drag him. Ugh, I'll drag him. Ugh, wow, I can't even say it. I'll drag him kicking and screaming if I have to. Um, I don't know. Advice I would give to cosplayers, um, like beginning cosplayers. I get asked this question a lot, a lot. Um, don't ever beat yourself up or believe that you can't do something just because of your first try. Trust me, I wish I could show you my very first Iron Man suit or my very first Spider-Man because it was a dumpster fire. I don't think it was bad for, you know, at the time a 10-year-old or a 3-year-old, but hey, it's all perspective. But I would definitely say don't ever lose faith in yourself. Don't ever discourage yourself just because of your first attempt. It's an evolution. It's definitely it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. You're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get to the finish line in the very first, you know, in the very first corner, you know, there's multiple parts to running the race that is cosplay or running the marathon that is cosplay. And you've got to pace yourself. You've got to give yourself grace. You've got to allow yourself to learn, to adapt, to be open to opinions and criticisms that, you know, constructive, you know, don't let anybody be toxic towards you or discourage you or, you know, try to take over your projects or your aspirations or tell you what you need to do, you know, character wise. Because if you don't relate with the character, if you're not passionate about the character, don't force yourself because it will come through. Do stuff you're passionate about, no matter what people think. You know, it, it, I'll reference back to Doctor Who again, just because it's so perfect. Um, always be the hoper of far-flung hopes. Always be the dreamer of improbable dreams. Um, and that's really, uh, it really does apply to a cosplay. And honestly, if you want me to, you know, I'll stick with the trend of Doctor Who quotes, but, um, Another one is life as I see it is a pile of good things and bad things. Now, the bad things don't ne or the good things don't necessarily soften the bad things, but vice versa, the bad things don't necessarily have to spoil the good things. So, in the infamous words of John Diggle, celebrate the small victories, otherwise you're going to lose track of what you're fighting for. So always celebrate those small victories in cosplay, whether it's being able to make that prop or or design that costume or make it to that convention. Always keep trying, always keep pushing yourself and always keep believing in yourself. You know, and, and if we can be inspiration, if we can be any help, please let us know. If I can do that, I'm happy to do that. I've, you know, I've had a lot of people that I've been amazed to have people tell me that I've been an inspiration to them or the reason they started cosplaying. And that's insane to me to think about but it's so heartwarming and it's so amazing to think about the fact that there's maybe a kid out there that was like me that almost felt ashamed that they like these things or they were passionate about these things and that I, I, I can be a role model for them of, hey, no, you can live confidently, you can live fearlessly in this because there is a community and we are here to support you and look, I know people say there's a lot of ugly in the cosplay community, but heck, man, there is a lot of good too. Because let me tell you, I have found some of the best friends and family that I have ever had through this community. So don't let the naysayers, don't let the negative Nancys ruin it for you, okay? Stick it out, keep trying, keep surviving. And just remember, you can do this all day. And then otherwise, allons-y, Geronimo! 12 didn't really have a catchphrase. I was going to go for the trifecta, but yeah, honestly, that's about it for me. But otherwise, seriously, um, geeks, thank you so much for having me. It's been a super honor. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I hope, I hope I was able to provide some sort of insight and honestly for any cosplayers out there, 
that you know you guys might have i really hope i was able to share some sort of some sort of advice or wisdom with them that they might be able to use yeah well hey guys thank you very much um i am gonna run so i stop sucking up all your airtime, and i'm sure people are tired of hearing me talk so otherwise as i always say to my followers thank you for joining the madness thanks for surviving the madness and uh